Jason Viking Friedman, I am here at the battle 2023 powered by Puma. What an exciting event we are going to have. We're going to have event one that is functional fitness. And then after that, the one that everyone's talking about, it's going to be that lifting ladder. So the lifting ladder is going to work as follows. There's going to be 12 different stations on each station. You will have 40 seconds for all three members to get as many reps as they can in that 40 seconds. On platform one, two, number seven, they'll get one point. On uh, platform two and eight, they'll get one point for each rep. And then on platform three and nine, they will get three points. And then on platform four and 10, another three points. And then that final, the big one, platform five and uh, 11 and six and 12, they will get themselves five points for those lifts. So it's gonna be 40 seconds, as many reps as they can on those platforms in those 40 seconds. Then they'll have 20 seconds rest before moving on to the next platform. It is gonna be a snake formation. So basically what happens is uh, one team will come onto the floor, they'll move on to the next platform, then the next team comes in and so on. So we'll start off with the scale, then we'll move into foundational, masters, and then the opens. Remember, tonight it's only the men taking part, and then tomorrow we'll have the ladies kicking off in the evening. And uh, we're gonna catch up with just a couple of the teams in just a bit. Next to me, I have Justin De Oliveira. He's part of the TRG group. Tell us a little bit more about that ladder. What are you expecting uh, with that ladder? Only 40 seconds for all three athletes to get through that lift. Do you think that's enough time for all three of you to get uh, through the ladder? Look, I can tell you probably asked the wrong guy here at CrossFit. It's all about the big boys that know how to touch and go the big weights. But uh, from a strategy perspective, it's going to hurt. Um, you're going to have to use your strong guys to maybe lift the heavier weights. You're going to get a lot more points on the bigger lifts. So anything outside of 100 plus on the snatches and I think 110 plus on the squat clean. So from our side, we've got a strategy. We're going we're gonna to go as hard as we can. But um, for most of the guys that don't lift too heavy, it's probably going to be damage control. Um, and there's quite a bit of us that are going to probably try to fight this out. We got a team member from Wadzilla here. They are taking part in the scale division. How are you feeling for the, the, the battle? Is this your first battle? It's my first battle, man. Um, very excited. I don't know what to expect. Um, I mean, we trained and, you know, we tested the workouts and that, but uh, it's always different on the day, you know. But uh, the team is very excited. Something we haven't done before together. So it's going to be a good experience. Right, uh, talk us a little bit about event number two, obviously the lifting one. You have 40 seconds, it's quite a, quite a nice to get as many reps as you can in 40 seconds. Only 20 seconds rest before you move on to the next platform. Did you guys practice that one? How did you feel? Yeah, so with our team, we had, we had an unfortunate event happen to us because what happened was we had one team member which we trained with and I think a week out on Monday, um, he ruptured his knee or something. So we had to replace him with a new, um, <laughs> a new teammate which was very you know, sad, but we got someone in. But uh, we did test the workout. We did uh, went through all the you know, standard movements and I think we'll, we'll do well, but I think it's just the weight. For me, I'm an OCR guy, right? I used to do obstacle course racing. The weight is a bit challenging for me, but I think that's why a team is good because you complement each other and you can find the, you know, your strengths and do you know, your best in that, in that regard. So yeah, excited, man. <laughs> There we have it, the Wadzillas, they're in the scale division. Check out uh, for them a little bit later on today. It's gonna to be an awesome one that's in the scale division. We have 152 RPM. They are here competing this weekend. But before we get into anything about competing, tell us a little bit more about your experience here at the battle and uh, how you're feeling for the competition. Um, yes, this, uh, this battle looks epic this year. Like literally, it looks like they've gone to town, like little mini CrossFit games going on here. It's very, very cool. Um, yeah, the arenas are awesome, the, the tents are awesome, everything is so cool, man. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right, and then of course we have the lifting workout a little bit later on tonight. How are you feeling for that one? Obviously you only have 40 seconds uh, to get as many reps as you can in each station, 12 stations total, and then 20 seconds rest. A bit short, I think, but let's, let's see how you guys do with that. Yeah. It's quite cool. It's, um, it's quite cool the way they've structured it that um, like it enables guys that are maybe not as big lifters to, to still get points on the lower weights, you know. The big lifters can make up points on the big weights, you know, but I think it's quite a cool like balanced workout, I should say, you know. So if you can't lift big, you've got to move fast to the lighter stuff, you know, so which is really, really cool. Cool, and then in terms of the rest of the weekend, do you think uh, you've obviously had an Achilles injury, uh, had surgery now twice, I do believe. Uh, do you think that's going to be alright to, to last the full weekend? 
Yeah, well, I hope so. Uh, we've been uh, training the workouts and stuff, and I just got to just be careful on the bigger weights and stuff. But otherwise, I'm okay with everything else. You know, I'll make up on the gymnastics. You know, <laughs> so yeah, that cool. man. And there you have it. That is Chris from 152 RPM. Catch him a little bit on later on tonight. Cool. Next to me, we have Bianca from 152. Tell us a little bit more about your experience so far here at the battle. What was your first thought as you were walking through the gates? Yeah, so it's um, our first year being involved in battle and yeah, we came down and like the setup is really, really awesome. Just walking around, taking it all in. I think it's super cool that there's like two proper arena set up. So yeah, the setup's awesome. And then of course we have the males taking part a little bit later on. We're going to be covering event number two. Uh, that's the lifting workout. How do you feel? Do you think your boys are going to be able to carry themselves through that workout? No, I think they'll be fine. They've been training hard, so I think they're going to do really well. And yourself, have you also been training? Are you looking at doing a battle maybe next year? Yeah, I think I need to do a comp next year. I've watched Keegs do a few and it looks awesome, so I need to definitely get involved in one. <laughs> Couldn't tell us a little bit more about your experience so far here at the battle. Obviously a big step up from last year, looking a little bit more CrossFit Games vibes. How are you feeling for it? No, it looks nice. Uh, hopefully the sun won't kill us. Luckily we're doing one light, so there won't be any sun. But uh, yeah, trying to settle the nerves a bit still. So uh, are you a little bit nervous for workout one or workout number two? Workout two obviously being the lifting workout. Yeah, workout one is definitely the harder one of the, of the two. So uh, yeah, if that doesn't break us, we'll make the weekend. Yeah. There you have it. That is Kun. And uh, we'll be watching him in the front foundational setup here at the Battle 2023. Right, we're here with uh, Alzan from Lions Bay. Tell us a little bit more about your experience so far here at the Battle. How's it been? Are you impressed? Uh, yeah, I am. Spectator wise, so far I'm having stacks of fun. Vend Vendor Village, doing great. But I haven't had any fun with the competitors yet. So, <laughs> But this year I'm team support, so yeah. we'll see so, how that goes. So I was on, unfortunately she couldn't get any team members, but uh, she is going to be supporting the, the males a little bit later on. Let's talk about event number two. Do you think your boys have it in them for that 40 seconds at 12 stations? For sure, so yes. <laughs> have you seen them? Look at those shirts, man. Look, you can see them, Jason. We'll get them now so you guys can see them. They'll be up next. But uh, so you are looking forward to, to them lifting some heavy weights. Do you think they're going to walk away with a, a possible win? They are against, of course, they got Ruan, Christian and Jason. Uh, so do you think that's going to be quite a tough one or do you think they can walk away with this? Um, it's going to be tough, but I've got all my faith in them. So they should be fine. <laughs> and there you have it. That's Alzheimer from Lions Bay. And uh, we'll be catching up with the Lions Bay men up next bunch of flankers here next to me <laughs> some large boys uh, we're gonna start off with everyone how are you feeling for this uh, competition are you guys coming into this well prepared uh, yeah last year we came to test the waters I think this year we had to compete um, give that podium a, a go there we go they're looking for a podium there exciting stuff Matt tell us a little bit more how are you feeling for this one uh, right, so obviously it's a rookie year with his team coming in for the first time so I mean obviously there's uh, no expectation just coming and willing to work hard man and then, uh, sorry then, Vimpy. Vimpy is, I have seen you here a few times actually. This isn't your first battle as far as I know, second one, okay. Yeah, so Vimpy, yeah, second time here. How are you feeling? Do you think you're gonna do well in this uh, lifting workout a little bit later tonight? Oh, uh, the lifting one, these, these two are they the lifters. I'm just here to support them with the lifting. Afterwards in the aerobic stuff, then I'll get in. So there you have it. And then in terms of your experience so far here at the battle, obviously a big step up from last year, a little bit more shade. There was obviously guys wanting more shade. Now we've got a nice big uh, vendor village with a lot of shade there. Are you guys impressed? Are you happy with the setup? Oh yeah, no, it's amazing. I think there's no other comp coming close to this at the moment. Very nice vibe. And yeah, the infrastructure is amazing this year. Yeah, we're very excited. Yeah, I mean, obviously you just uh, come for the battle for the first time. I think it obviously just uh, explodes. Um, you know the power of the community of CrossFit which is obviously nice to see obviously it's nice to see everyone gathering it together for obviously have a, like a weekend you know, walking in here it feels like you're entering the games here. Yeah. everything is going on it's nice to be here and there you have it everyone so far thinking that the battle 2023 is like a game setup that's exciting stuff for all the athletes as well as spectators all right we got Samson Lions here Shaw Berger how are you feeling for that uh, event number two? Obviously, uh, it's going to be quite a spicy one. You've got 40, 40 seconds to try to get as many lifts on each platform as you can. How are you feeling for that? Um, yeah, so that one's going to be a bit tricky for, for me especially. Luckily, my two teammates can lift heavy. So I'm going to be working the two bar, first two barbells on each one, and then I'm going to spectate. I'm going to stand there, watch them uh, move the heavy weight around, and uh, just cheer them on. 
So basically your strategy is you're gonna work hard on those first few platforms, get uh, those one points, uh, and then they'll work on the three pointers and the five pointers. Yes. Yeah, I will, I'll jump in where I can on that third bar. Um, on the, on the, the squat cleans, it'll be, I'll probably get a little bit further, but uh, I'll let them rip it out. And I've uh, got two strong boys in my team and yeah, they can do it all. Eh? And then uh, tell us about your experience so far here at the battle. Obviously, a lot of money's been put in here. There's been a lot of effort behind the scenes. Guys have been working hard. We as a media team, we came a little bit earlier, so we got to see uh, the behind the scenes. But so far, what do you think of the event? The setup is amazing. I mean, they've put a lot of effort into it. I mean, you know, we run an event as well, and we know what it costs to put uh, all this stuff together. And what, what we see is amazing. It's world class. And uh, you know what? For them, I hope they grow and it becomes a world class event for them. Perfect. That's Charles Berger from Sanson Lions. Look out for them a little bit later today.